You see, what you young ladies don't understand, the Bible is not a joke. It is written to, for you to get corrected. You are the people of God, the children of Israel. And the way you're behaving in this corner is not supposed to be this way. That's right. Read that for me. Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. My people is foolish. God's people, you, black Hispanics and Native Americans, you are foolish. Because you are following the custom of this nation here. You're behaving foolish. Catholic is not in the Bible. You That's are foolish. Right. You just prove that you're a foolish person. Read that. For my people is foolish. That they have not known me. So you don't know God. Talking about your Catholic, this is what Catholic worship. Right. The image of the beast. No, you don't know a damn thing. You're a foolish person. children. Saddish children. You are senseless. Senseless. You don't have a clue. Get a clue. You are senseless. Saddish. Read. And they have no understanding. You have no understanding because if you had understanding, you would have known that Christ is a black man. Not this damn Edomite right here. You are damn stupid Catholic church. Read. They are wise to do evil. You are wise to do evil. That's all that's in your mind. You know said Pick up dudes and have sex and dress like a whore. That's right. Proverbs 7 verse 10. You guys don't understand. This is not a joke. We are here to correct you. Come make me. Talking nonsense. All of you guys, we're talking to you. Our job is to reprove you and to correct you. Read that. Talking to you. I'm talking to all of you. Read that. Yes, I'm very sure. And behold. So, the attire of a harlot is exactly how you guys are dressing right now. Right. Because you're supposed to be, your mom was supposed to teach you how to dress modestly. That's right. You are looking like whores out here. Right. Read. And so too, of heart. You are subtle of law of heart. You have no understanding. Read that. She's what? She's what? She's what? You guys are loud. Read. And you guys are stubborn because I don't want to hear what the Bible has to say. Read. So you're supposed to be at home learning something from your mouth, but you're in the street running your damn mouth against the Lord's prophet. Dressing like whore. The Lord never judge me, so why are you judging people? You are not God. You don't judge nobody. So, you're not supposed to be walking around wearing pants, wearing poop boom shorts, where all the crack in your ass is showing. That is wrong. You? You're not supposed what to wear showing? pants. That put the spirit of a man on you. A woman supposed to have a long skirt. Right. Like right. this lady right here. You're supposed to have a long skirt, but you don't know anything. Your mama didn't teach you anything. That's so right. She's just as foolish as you are. Right. That's why you step out of the street looking like this, standing in the corner, arguing against with the man of Lord. You are loud, knowing nothing. Mm. You are foolish. Read. First thing to do, first learn. In that manner also, that women are doing themselves in modest apparel. So your mom was supposed to teach you to dress in modest apparel. That's but right. apparently she didn't read this book. She doesn't know that. The Catholic Church is not teaching you that because they hate you. Read. We shame faced You were supposed to have shame face, not running your mouth against a man. You understand? You think it's a joke. The most side's gonna kill you if you're in change. All right? Read. So, what you have to understand is, there's a dress code in the Bible. When you're talking about you're a child of God, you go to church, guess what? This book, you should be following this book. That's right. So don't open your mouth talking about I go to the Catholic church. You go to the Catholic church looking for dudes. Mm. Read. This is your chapter 16, verse 24. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this Proverbs against thee, saying, as the mother as the mother, so is the daughter. So once I meet you, I already know what kind of household you come from. Right. Because if your mama had any sense, she would not let you leave the house looking like this. Right. Because she dressed just like you or worse. Right. You understand? This is what we are supposed to follow. You are a child of God, but you don't know your value because that was not taught to you in your household. 
You are not taught that. That's why you're walking around looking clueless and dumb. You understand what I'm saying? Young men selling drugs, pants below their butt. All they care about is looking for a woman. Read that. Do the run, chapter 23, verse 17. There shall be no whore. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. What makes you a whore? Because in the Bible, it says you're supposed to have a husband. There's no boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. You're going to get a boyfriend, he's going to have sex with you and leave you. That's you're right. going to jump to the next boyfriend and the cycle continue. Right. So that makes you a whore. That's you're right. supposed to be a husband to a woman. You're supposed to have one woman and keep that and marry that woman and treat her as your wife. That's right. right. Not jumping from, from, from penis to penis. Right. That's been a whore. Right. So that boyfriend thing does not exist in the Bible. Right. When you are in marriageable age at 20, you're supposed to have a man right. that can provide and take care of you. That's right. This is why you're going to end up with baby daddy right. and you're going to be on welfare right. and collecting checks. Right. You understand? And also, you're going to have mad different diseases. This is why you got crabs, AIDS, syphilis, and all that. Why? Because you guys don't know the laws of God. You disobey the laws of God, and you hate when we bring it out to you. Because you are evil. You people don't get it yet. You think this is a joke. This is not by chance you are standing here. You've been called. But apparently, actually give me Ezekiel 317. You think this is a joke. You think, we, this is our job. Our job is to correct you. Our job is to correct you. You are wicked. You are wicked. You are wicked. You trying to talk like you tell me. I wish you would. I wish you would. You better get your mind right and know you're talking to me. Please. Read that. I say it. Chapter 5. Nobody come out and I play with none of y'all. Read. Woo unto death. He said woe unto them. Death and destruction unto his people. Good. That call evil good. Y'all call it evil good. Y'all show you what y'all doing good. Little girls running around here trying to get boxed. Trying to get king bang. Y'all running around here like y'all off the chain. Go ahead. And good evil. Y'all going to good evil. We tell you y'all a good thing to do, and you looking like, like it's evil. Go ahead. Now, you're the first one to get AIDS. You're the first one to get sickness, herpes. You don't want to be first one. You, you want to get checking your head. Go ahead. I ain't got enough. No, I know your spirit. I know your spirit. You like this soft dude right here. I know your spirit. You soft. Read that. What's up? What's up? Read that. Y'all wicked as hell. Y'all think what y'all doing is right. Y'all are playing it and gesturing it, being little whores like he just went. Because this problem is all y'all running around trying to show y'all little bodies. Which is not right, because you're supposed to be trying to get a husband. You're supposed to be trying to get your education where you can help your people in your neighborhood, where you can help your family. But you running around here and want to be fools and coons, want to play and joke all day, want to be like Nicki Minaj, want to be like all these rappers that can't do nothing. Yo, y'all younger people. Why do you know that? Shut you shut up. Shut up. Your mother I'm talking to her. You sober as kind candy. You sober than these women. You keep running your mouth. Go ahead. That's right. Leviticus chapter 19, Titan verse 29. Man. Go ahead. Do not prostitute thy daughter. What the Bible said? Do not prostitute thy daughter. You know how you prostitute a, a, a woman prostitute her daughter? But I ain't y'all dressed like you and you ain't dressed. I got a daughter. My daughter ain't no daughter. I got a daughter. The way y'all dressing. Y'all want unwanted attention. Bad attention. That's why late at night, you got niggas following y'all because y'all don't know how to dress. You don't know how to talk. Right. To cause her to be a whore. Read that again. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Do not prostitute that daughter. 
to cause her to be You ain't brought it to a nothing. Somebody might be popping you with your butt the way you look at her. Y'all look like you tough. You a weak softer. I can see it over your face. You crazy? No, we gotta get Do not prostitute thy daughter. Y'all, y'all young people gotta wake up to who y'all are according to the Bible. And stop running around here being fools and coons. We get that too long. This is a new era. Stop being a fool in the cool. Learn who you are before death comes. That's why so many people dying going to these parties. So many people get knocked off. Because they want to be tough instead of being people of God. Instead of understanding who they are and learning who they are. Our job here is to wake you up. You guys were born in slavery, born in bondage, and your mind has been erased. You do not know who you are. You do not know your purpose in life. Running around clueless and headless like a chicken, plucking all day long. Read. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. So the most I made us a watchman. We are here to watch out for your soul. This is love. Your parents have not shown you love. Because love is tough. It's not about, oh, oh, I'll hug and a kiss. That's not love. Read. Unto the house of Israel. So we are watchmen for the house of Israel. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Read. And give them warning. So our job is to warn you. America is going down. Destruction is coming here. And you need to change. You need to keep the laws of God. That's our job. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. So, we're here to tell you, if you remain a wicked person, you're going to die in your wickedness. That's Read. right. And thou gavest him not warning, Read. nor speak him to warn the wicked from his wicked way. So, uh, if we come here and see you doing violence, and we don't warn you, guess what's going to happen? Read. To save his life, uh -huh. the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So, you will die in your iniquity if we don't tell you that you are living wrong. Y'all think y'all know something. We've been where you at. And we changed. This is why we're giving you warning. You going down the steep, death and destruction awaits you in life. But you think this is a joke? I was born a day, but it wasn't yesterday. So I lived your life before. You think you're doing something special. Read. His blood will I require at thy hand. So your blood, if I don't warn you, God is going to require your blood from my hand. That's not going to happen, because I'm going to warn you whether you like it or not. You're going to hear it. Read. If, yeah, if thou warn the wicked, uh -huh. turn not from his wickedness. So if I do my job and warn you, and you don't want to hear nothing the Bible got to say, and you do not turn from your wickedness, read. Or from his wicked way, uh -huh. he shall die in his iniquity. So you're going to die in your iniquity if you don't change. Death and destruction awaits you. That's right. Keep living the street life and see what happens. Keep dressing like little whores and run and run to clubs and see what happens. Welfare, baby daddy trauma, diseases. Those are the only things that await you. But you don't want to listen. You think you know something. That's the vicious cycle of life. You want to sell drugs? You're going to end up in jail or dead. You want to be a man walking around with your pants sagging? Somebody going to stick a finger up your butt. It's that simple. Because you're acting and behaving like a homo. Therefore, you must be one. You guys don't get it yet. You think this is a joke? Read. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity. This is not a joke. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, son of man, I sent thee to the children of Israel. That's why we are here. We are here to come to the children of Israel. The blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians. We are here for the blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians. Go ahead. To a rebellious nation. Y'all are rebellious people. All you blacks and Hispanics are rebellious people. Go ahead. That have rebelled against me. Y'all ain't rebel against us. Y'all ain't doing nothing against us. You're doing it against the most high. And he the king of terror. You don't walk down the block and the brick will jump out that building and punch in your head. And you'll die right on the spot. That's right. The most high ain't nothing to play with. Let like a joke with us, you might get away. You joke with the most high, definitely going to do that.
For many years, brothers and sisters have inquired of us about the haters of Israel United in Christ. I explained to Deacon Asaph, who's one of the best rappers in the world, believe it, that we needed a video. So I gave him my concept, the uh, message I wanted to convey to the people. Um, I had many producers on standby. We also have one of the best video production artists named Bezalel. He's like the incredible hulk of all videos. To mold the video around the music that Deacon Asaph will come with and make it happen. How many times must we check these fools, correct these fools, dissect these fools? They still run in their mouth, that's why nobody don't respect these fools. I heard the song, I loved it, and they made it happen. I wanted to deal with the scoffers first, because there are many haters against the Bible, against God, against Israel, not against Christ. And I want all you at home, brothers and sisters, to understand that the primary focus of Israel United in Christ is to teach you your nationality, the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Towards the end of the video, I want all the viewers to understand that we are building a nation of kings and priests according to the scriptures, and we will not be deterred by anyone.